some of my viewers have had a question on how they can create a form that will do calculations. So today I'm going to show you how to create a form field using Microsoft Word and legacy tool form fields that were that will perform simple calculations. You can use this for different things. For example, if you're creating an offer worksheet, if you know how to type out the math equation, you can use this feature. Today, to keep it simple, we are gonna do an invoice. All right, this is our invoice, and you'll notice that we have the price, quantity, tax, subtotal, and total. The price, quantity, and tax are gonna be static fields that we're gonna enter in, and then the subtotal and total are gonna be the calculating form fields. Up here, I have the equations typed out just so that you can see them and so that we can copy and paste those when we, do those, when we set up those calculations. We'll, of course, delete that off of our final version of our invoice. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is put our cursor where we want the first form field inserted and come up to our developer tab. And if you don't have your developer tab enabled, be sure and check out the playlist on my channel for creating fillable forms. We're gonna come up to the developer tab, select legacy tools and insert a plain text form field. And I'm gonna select that and copy and paste it down. We're just gonna hit Control C and then Control V to uh, paste that down into each row of our invoice. Now, what I'm going to do is select the first form field, which is price, and come up here to properties. And in the type, I'm going to select number. And in the format, I'm going to select currency. Then down here, I'm going to bookmark that and label it price. And I'm going to select calculate on exit and click OK. Now in quantity, I can right click and select properties as well, or come up here. We're going to select the number again. And this is the number format. We're just going to select zero, and then we're going to bookmark and call this quantity. And we're going to say calculate on exit and click OK. Now for the tax, we can double click to open it as well. To open up the properties box, we can select that it's a number, and the number format is going to be a percent. So we'll come down here to percent, and then we're going to bookmark that and call it tax. Now, if you had a standard tax value that was going to be the same every time, you could type it up here. You would type 0.07 for 7% as an example. We're going to calculate on exit and click OK. Now for our calculating form fields, we're going to open the properties on the subtotal. Now we know um, it's going to be a number. However, what we want to select under the type is calculation. Once we do that, we have an expression up here that has an equal sign, and we can start typing our math equation right after that equal sign. So we're going to say this is the price times the quantity. And then the number format, we're going to select currency. And down here, we'll bookmark and call that one subtotal. And click OK. All right, now let's set up the equation for our um, our, our grand total down here. What I want to do is copy and paste this, uh, this equation here for you. So we'll copy it, hit Control C. Now we'll open our properties back up, select calculation, and now we're going to paste that math equation there. And the reason that I've typed it out, you know, basically the total is going to be the subtotal plus tax. However, in Word, when you're using the form fields, you don't want to create a calculation form field that within that equation includes another calculated field. So therefore, we have to type it out again, the price times quantity. We can't just put subtotal. So that's why we type out the long version of the equation. The number format, we're going to say currency. We'll bookmark and call this one total. And click OK. All right, now let's go up and restrict editing on our form. We're going to check box number two with the drop down, filling in forms, and say yes, start enforcing protection. We won't need to put a password since we're just testing our form. For price, we'll put 250, hit tab. You notice that uh, the dollar format pops up because we've programmed it for that currency format. We'll say quantity of two, hit tab. And now we can enter in our tax rate. So maybe we'll put 0.07 for a 7% tax. And when we hit tab, you'll notice that the subtotal has subtotaled and the grand total is our subtotal plus tax. If you found this video helpful, be sure and give it a thumbs up. To like it, you can subscribe to my channel and click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. Visit my website, SharonSmithHR.com. If you have any questions, be sure and leave them in the comment section below.
Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time.